Hello, my name is Sarah Flynn. I'm the owner instructor of the Arkansas School of Court Reporting, one of the most successful voice writing training programs in the nation for the aspiring court reporter. I am coming to you today from our beautiful training facility located on Capitol Avenue in downtown Little Rock, and I am so excited to be able to talk to you today about my profession and how you can become a part of it. Court reporting to me is such an interesting profession because our job is to be the impartial keeper of the record. We don't care who wins or loses a particular case, but we do get to hear all about what's happened in people's lives on all sides of a case, and there is always a new story to hear. Even after 15 years of reporting, I still get surprised at some of the testimony that I hear. I take great pride in the fact that I prepare each and every transcript, no matter what the subject content, accurately and to the very best of my ability. I know that my job is very important as the keeper of the record, and this is what I now pass on to my students. You know, a great court reporter will always have a job. In fact, there is currently a national shortage of trained, certified court reporters. Did you know that the Department of Labor estimates a 25% increase in the demand for court reporters nationwide in the 2006 to 2016 time frame? Given our current economy, this forecast is very exciting for people wanting to pursue this profession. A lot of people have heard about court reporters but aren't really familiar with exactly what a court reporter does on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, it depends on how you choose to use your skills. Let me tell you about each kind of court reporter. First, there is what we all know of as the official court reporter. This reporter is hired by a state or federal judge and works in the courtroom on days when court is in session. They report all kinds of civil and criminal proceedings, including motions and trials. When a verdict is appealed, then they are asked to prepare a transcript of the proceedings. These court reporters earn a state or federal sal salary with benefits in addition to the transcripts they are asked to prepare. Second, there is the freelance court reporter. This reporter goes to what we call depositions or examinations under oath where testimony is taken at a certain time and place, usually at an attorney's or doctor's office. Except for a few weekly appointments for depositions, these reporters have a very flexible schedule wherein they can work out of their home office the hours that they choose, whether it be daytime or nighttime. They essentially will run their own business as an independent contractor, and they can choose to go out and market themselves or work for a contractor contracting agency. There are many benefits to working for a court reporting agency in that they handle all administrative aspects for the freelance reporter, including scheduling, confirmation, printing, binding, exhibits, delivery, billing, and collections, and the court reporter gets paid on a certain basis. Many firms also offer the freelance reporter all the latest technology that they can provide their clients, including deposition syncing, electronic transcripts, and more. Let's talk about the different methods of court reporting, stenography and voice writing, and the different types of training programs. Typical stenographer programs are very expensive, three to four year programs. The steno student must first master the theory of shorthand in order to type on a shorthand machine. Once they accomplish this and learn how to convert the English language to the shorthand language, then they must build their speed to be able to write the spoken word and test for certification. Unfortunately, many of these students are not ever graduating from schools because they get to a point and just give up. That's why many stenography schools are now implementing voice programs. The training that we have here at the Arkansas School of Court Reporting is to be a voice writer, what I feel to be the most sustainable method. Here at the Arkansas School of Court Reporting, we can train a voice writer in just 36 intensive weeks. Why? Because voice writers are not required to learn an additional language. We take the English language that we already know and learn the proper dictation techniques to report the record with our voice, not our hands, into a voice silencer such as this. 
The human voice will always be faster than our hands, and we as voice writers can immediately begin speed building to report at the speeds at which people speak. Our program also provides you with the latest in digital recording technology. No longer do we use bulky tape recorders and transcribers. Now we can record with digital recorders such as this, and we transcribe the files using a foot pedal and headphones that plug directly into our computer. Another great thing about voice writing is the ability to take our dictation in real time, where we can use a laptop computer with a speech recognition engine to instantly convert and format our dictation into readable text. It's very exciting. Betty Keyes, a nationwide leader in real-time technology for voice writers, has personally consulted with me about my program so that I can teach you the proper dictation techniques from the start to ensure a smooth transition into real-time if you choose to further your education after certification. So how are our classes structured? We will meet here in our training room once per week for hands-on training. Students can also attend the live classes online with a high-speed internet connection anywhere in the world. Throughout the course, we will become word sleuths, and we will cover extensive word usage, legal terminology, punctuation of the spoken word, proofreading techniques, and speed building. We will also cover the ins and outs of how to prepare a transcript using real-world testimony. Students will be required to complete their homework assignments in a timely manner and dedicate time on their own to practice the dictation exercises throughout the nine-month course. I am available at any time during the week to help you with any questions or concerns, and I am dedicated to your success. A question I know that is on your mind is how much income a court reporter can make. Well, essentially, that is entirely up to the individual and how much they want to work. Each year of experience you get under your belt will enable you to produce transcripts more efficiently, thus increasing your income. First year full-time reporters can make anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars, and second year full-time reporters can increase that amount to forty to fifty thousand dollars. The median income for court reporters nationwide is sixty thousand dollars, with many making more than that. Also, those students continuing on into real time will be the most sought after reporters in the future and can easily earn six figures. So who are candidates for this field of work? Well, first off, someone who wants to achieve more in their life in a profession that will last them a lifetime without a costly college education. We seek students that are overachievers and perfectionists, those who did well in English courses in high school and or college and have good typing skills make excellent court reporters. People with legal experience transition very well into this field, although legal experience is not a necessary element. Other characteristics of a successful court reporter include the ability to listen carefully and record proceedings accurately, good organizational and time management skills. Court reporters should be flexible and adapt easily to new environments and can work independently. Above average proficiency with computers and the Windows operating system is also required skill to be successful in the program. In essence, anyone who possesses these skills and wants to work a flexible schedule, make excellent income, and expand their knowledge is a great candidate for court reporting. So now that you've decided to make a commitment to your career, what do you need to do to sign up now? Well, because of the personal nature of our classes, we keep them very small, and seats are very limited for this year's session, so you'll need to secure your spot as soon as possible. Accompanying this disc is a CD containing the student handbook and enrollment form. Because we are a private institution, the traditional methods of fin federal financial aid are not available at this time, but there are payment options contained in your handbook that you can choose from. Customized payment plans have also been approved by the school. So just print out and complete the enrollment form and send that in with the enrollment fee and this will secure your spot. 
If you would like to come to the school to meet me and speak with me personally, you are more than welcome. I am also available by phone and through email if you have additional questions that I have not answered here. I will personally be in touch with you after receiving your request to enroll, and together we will get your career started. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you about my profession. I hope you will be joining us for the next class.